done. Okay, let's go into a balance section and then we'll get on to the floor. So I want you to take your shoulders down, draw the core in, nice strong leg. Push the right foot into the mat. Let's see what our balance is doing. Let's take our left leg forward. Let's take it up into that flexion, extension of the knee, back in and lower. And again, for two. If you want to jump seat, you can do it with the arms out wide. You can. So we just work the deltoid a bit. And we go into that abduction. And three. And two. And one. Good work. The hip in every direction. Abduction. Try it in the tight chair. Yeah. Tighten through the tummy. Draw the navel in. Try and get some work going on in the waist. She says. And lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lift. And lift. Good work in the side glute muscles as well. Two. One. Hold it. Hold. Janet's good at these days. Down again, last eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and hold, and back. So Sean is a perfect example of that. If you work on your balance, how you can really improve it. Shoulders down into hip extension. So I just want you to just point the back foot and just lift the leg a little bit and lower. Don't lift it too high, just a couple of inch. And for two. And for three. That front knee's bent. And for four. Four more. For three. For two. For one. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Switch side. Give it a little bit of a standing leg. And then just take that other leg forward there. Tight through the tummy. Or bring it into that abduction. Reach. Make sure you're not bringing your arms forward and hiking up through the shoulders though. So thumb can go up to the wall. Reach the middle finger. Bring it in. Out. Back. And down. And for two. And for three. And for four. And five, good. Six, seven, eight. To the side, tight through the tummy. Spread the toes of the uh, sporting foot. Lift and lift. Watch my hip, my side glutes. I've been doing two times today. And four, and three, and two. Hold it. Woo! <laughs> Nearly one time. And down again for eight. For seven. My husband wasn't supposed to be drinking this week at all. So I think that might be joint tonic he had in the past. Hold it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four. And one, well done, good work. Take that leg to the back, weight slightly forward, and lift. And again, point the foot, just lift a little bit, squeeze the butt. And for four, and for five, work in the posterior chain, hold it up on the next one, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, pull back, three, two, and one. Well done. Give yourself just a pelvic circle because we're going to get down on the floor. Um, I think you've both got rollers, haven't you? You've got a roller, David. Put your thumb up if you've got a roller. Yeah, Dave, you have. If you've got a roller, brilliant. So we can do some roller work. Fabulous. Okie dokie. So let's take our, I know it's warm, guys. Let's come into a um, little bit of work just to get the core nice and strong and just to stretch a little bit through the hips and the um, hamstrings. So chin to chest, just 
I'm sorry. Do that again. Inhale, let the ribs come up and out. Exhale. Yeah? So on the exhalation, you're sending the ribs down, so we're keeping the ribs in and down at all times. Off you go. Now I want you to literally think about the head. So sometimes people are a little bit where their neck is becoming shortened, so they need to really try and bring the chin, chin down towards the chest. I appreciate that can be difficult, hence why I know David you use a block. So if you need something underneath your head to keep that length, then get it. Off you go. Perfect setup. Length through the front of the chest. Rib cage down, following through the tummy, nice flat tummy. And we are going to literally take our leg up to tabletop. And our other leg. Yeah, draw the core in. Feel like you've got a lot of strength. Yeah, just hold there, just for a second. Just hold. Some people really struggle to just can't do this. Yeah, once you've got that position in, tight through the tummy, let the abdominals take the right leg out and bring it back in. And the left leg. And back in. And the right. I'm expecting this to feel quite hard to me. I can tell I've not been on the roller and the level of control that's needed. There should be just no movement through your back, guys. You shouldn't be feeling it in your back at all. It should all be the core. And again. If you want to feel balance, you can put your hands on your wrist. Make sure that they're keeping in and down. Because obviously as they come up and out, the back goes out of alignment. So this is working the core. Keep drawing the tummy in. Yeah, I'm really feeling this. Hopefully you are too. Let's go another eight. Seven. Six. And five. And four. Take your arm. 
hand, the paper of the edge closed, and see how far can you get that thumb? Remember where you used to get it, a protection ability. Good, and take your hands a little bit wider. Yeah, just to keep that stretch in the pack. Good. How does that feel? Is one more limited than the other? And then once you've got them to scissor, or just even if you get to there, whichever way you get, I want you to do that circling and then back up. And the other way, circle and back up. And again. Let's do three more in each direction. So two. It's funny, the class um, with Janet and Sandra and Serena and everyone on Wednesday, I've been doing a lot more arm work with them and Serena was saying now actually she's realised that she's still a bit tight. I probably, because they've all become so much stronger, I've probably not done some of the breast cancer rehab stuff. So it's really nice to keep the shoulders flowing. Well done. Take it down by your side. Okie dokie, let's just gently take our head to the right and to the left. Again, just noticing if there's any tension in the neck area. Try and have that little chin to chin to chest if you can. You want some length through the neck. And I know it both if you've got a tight neck, and we know a mind's bubbling and still on the left a little bit, just push if you can. Push a little bit more into that rotation. And then last one each side. And then relax. And let's give you go a little bit of a hello. Okay, come off your roller. And we'll do a little bit more on our back. And just before we go on to our front, because I want to do a little bit of chrome work just to get that upper back really nice and strong. And like I say, prevent that um, closing in of the pec wall. So, um, <clears throat> just come down onto the mat. Let's just do a little bit of bridge, just to keep the um, back nice and mobile. So take your arms down by your side, feet hip distance apart, take a breath in through the nose. Exhale, gently roll the lower back into the mat. Come up into a bridge position. Yeah. Take a breath in, gently lower, bone by bone, let's come up again, breath in, exhale, gently lower the back into the mat, gently come up again, so in bridge, remember the hips are nice and high, we're on our shoulder blades, and the knees are nice and long, in fact just hold there for a bit. So obviously in this position, when you're pushing the knees long, obviously working the quads quite hard, but also lengthening them, squeezing through the glutes. Take a breath in. Now let your bottom relax as you gently come down onto the floor. Just sit bones coming apart. Good, keeping the joints mobile. Let's go again. This time we're going to hold it on. Pick it up. Bring it into your bridge. Hips nice and high, so let's just get a nice little bit of stretch for the actual psoas muscle. So I just want you, that right hip bone, I want you to elevate it and then bring it back. Elevate for two, for three, for four, for four, for three, for two, for one. The other side, eight, seven. Long, the hips high, and again, just take it right back. 
left this time. Right, left, right, left, right, and with one side fatiguing more than the other. And again, four more. Four, three, two, one. Take a breath in. Slowly roll back down. So really shortening the back of the legs then. So we're just going to stretch. So we're working the back of the legs quite a bit. So we're just going to take it into glute stretch. A nice gentle one. So you take that right foot on the left knee. If you can't feel it, then obviously, you know, you can lift up. If you need a soft ball or something to put underneath your head, then obviously you can. Or you can just grab and just hold, bringing that down, pushing that knee away, Whoa, feeling that jump stretch through the glute area. Away, gently up, you can grab if you want, and you just want to obviously keep in that stretch for a good 30 seconds. And really, ideally, you want to be doing your stretches kind of two or three reps on each side as well. We only do one in class just for time, really. And gently down, well done. Just take it into a butterfly stretch. In a gondola, Dave, what do you think? Just a nice gondola going along Venice, nice glass of vino. Oh. Um, oh, travel will never be the same again. Hopefully, when we get back to normal, but I hope we will never take for granted again how wonderful it is. Okay, take your hands, place them underneath your head, or if you've got your block here, that's fine. Anything to keep that elongation, a little bit of chin. Chest, just gently bring the legs up, take it into scissor. If you start cramping in scissor, um, so if you start cramping, then take it back into more of a toe tap. So just go into toe, tabletop and then gently down. Try and keep the um, shin bow nice and level. So you're not banging at the knee, sorry, dropping at the knee. You're actually thinking about more of a heel drop, yeah? So if that feels better for you when you don't cramp through the hip, then do that one. Otherwise, nice straight leg. And down. And down. And again. And I've got a few cramps started this time. I got in trouble last week, I was doing that job there. And I went past five to when I was late to the NHS. So now I'm cracking my arm. Keep that core engaged. Keep going. Keep your shoulders down. Your ribs down. This time just hold it. Hold for three, two, one. Back up. Take it down. Hold for three, two, one. Good. And again. Four, three, two, one. And again, four, three, two, one, last two, one, four, three, two, one, and last one this side, four, three, two, one, well done, good work, take your arms out to capital T, and just glue your legs together, take the knees to the right, the head to the left, take a breath in if you let the belly rise, Exhale, draw the navel in, back to centre and the other side. And again, inhale, let the belly rise. Exhale, draw in, back to centre. One more each side, just close your eyes. Take your breath in as you let the belly rise. Draw the navel in, back to centre and last one last. Let the belly rise and slowly back. Well done. Okay, let's do some working prone. So we'll try and do quite a bit. So I want you to get your roller and see if you can. If this feels too much, David, then just go into like um this one where we lay 
shoulders to height up. So just practice for a minute. Just practice pulling the shoulder blades down. Letting them go. So you let the roller go a little bit. And then pull the roller in. Yeah? So you're protracting and retracting. Protracting, retracting. And unfortunately, in today's society, a lot of us are very protracted forward. And the pectoral wall becomes shortened. Yeah? And retract back. So as you retract, you'll see, I don't know if you can see on the on Zoom, it's not great, is it, to go to finite detail. But as you retract, yeah, you are stretching the front of the pectoral wall and working the trapezius muscles, yeah, in the back. So you get them nice little muscles. Okay, so now I just want you to do think about that now. So I want you to take your face down into the mat as well. Push your cubic bone down into the floor. Send your tailbone towards the heels. A little bit of squeeze. If I'm honest, my glute automatically contracts when I do that. So try not to over contract your glute. But tailbone towards the heels. Draw the navel in so you can feel like, even if you can't feel a gap, imagine there's a gap underneath your tummy. And then I want you to retract your shoulder blades down. And you'll feel already how hard it is and the work. And then just lift up. You might only really want to lift to there, or you might feel that you can lift all the way. Really important that you are connected through the core. And gently back down onto the mat. Yeah, so let's do that again. Important so you can keep, I'll send you this big guys, so and you can just keep looking at it if you're unsure. Push the pubic bone down into the mat. Draw the navel in. You can bring the heels in a little bit towards each other. Slide your scapula down, so retract your shoulder blades and then start coming up a bit if you can. This will be a challenge. Or up. And gently back down. Keep the crown of the head long. Gently down. And again, push the pubic bone down. Draw the tummy in. Slide the scapula down. So you're retracting, working the back muscles. Lift up. Now make sure that your hands are not here somewhere. Have them quite wide, yeah? And lower back down. Let's do four more. Push the pubic bone down. Draw the tummy in. Slide the scapula down. Length of the crown of the head. Lift a little bit. You might just want to hold there. That might be enough. Or all the way up. David, drop me a note. Just let me see how this feels. Because even retracting and keeping the head down is going to work really nice with just getting that nice um, length through the front of the pectoral wall. Let's go again, push the pubic bone down, draw the tummy in, slide the scapula, really important, we retract and come back up. Hold and back down. Two more. Let the tummy drop again, start again. Push the pubic bone down, draw the navel in, slide the scapula down, blend through the crown of the head, upward tongue, hold. You don't have to come all the way up. Like I say, you might just want to come up a little bit. And back down. So let's do two, one more. Push the pubic bone down, draw the tummy in, slide the scapula down. And like I say, you're coming up just into like a, a little chest lift. Or a big chest lift, or pull it into cobra. And slowly back down onto the floor. Well done. You should really start feeling your shoulders. But we're going to do a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to do just a little bit. So take your hands down into the seams of your trousers. Push the pubic bone down into the mat. Draw the tummy in, slide the shoulders back and down, take the palms up and just lift. All you do is try and lift just a little bit and then just really push your hands up. Keep the core engaged, hold. And then pull, 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 pull. Relax that down. This time, take the palms into the seams of the trousers, push the pubic bone down, draw the core in, gently just lift up a little bit and see if you can 
exhale that right arm out, shoulder high, really reach that middle finger to the wall. And then back. And the other arm out. And back. Both together. Try and just keep the stretch and the pec. Squeezing the scapula. Back in. Lower back down. Let everything flop. Start again. Push the pubic bone down. Draw the tummy in. Slide the shoulders back and down. Lift up. Take your arm out to the right. Back to centre. The other way. Centre. Both together. Hold. 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 Four. Three. Two. And one. And relax. Just take the hands. Just have a little bit of windscreen wipe.
Yeah, Matt's in fun with the first video to be having on this year as well. You mean the Keith video? Well, I'm sure Ross is now. This is early new trade, not being able to go to concerts usually. And yeah, Leo, well done. Just come straight into a little bit of particularly because we've been working on our extension and stretch of the text. So just come into more into the dip back. Take a breath in. And just round. And then back again, more into that one. Take a breath in. And round. And last one. And back to neutral, tuck the toes under, walk your heels down, feel that stretch. 